Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are going to make a dupe that I saw. This is not my unique idea. This is my own take on it, but it is a Pottery Barn dupe. I saw on a couple people's channels on TikTok, but I'm doing all Dollar Tree supplies. So we'll start. I grabbed two of these Dollar Tree cloches. We're gonna do some painting and stuff, but for now, um, I even got my cling wrap at some point at the Dollar Tree. Um, a spatula thingy, some cutters, wooden dowel sticks, something, something to attach your styrofoam balls. Then I got the Dollar Tree, this form, you guessed it. I colored, I colored, I covered my plate in cling wrap and I even was able to get cheesecloth. So first what we're going to do is just cut this semblance in half. It doesn't matter if it's exactly in half um, because this is going to be taller than I need, which is fine. These are the little tiny 1.4 inch balls that you get at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just feeding them onto this round because it was the only foam thing I had at my house for being truthful. And then I had already tested it out to make sure it would work. So right now, and then the only thing I wanna make sure, yes, that it's taller than my dome and I'm gonna cut off any bottom that is extra. So we just wanna make sure these are pretty straight, which they are, they're just attached. We're gonna move this off to the side for a minute. And these were just the dowels, real thin ones that I picked up. And then I grabbed this Mod Podge. I got it in matte. I just felt like matte was the appropriate vibe for this. I don't know. And I'm literally just dumping it in here. We're gonna make the um, cheesecloth stiff. So I'm putting this whole bottle in. This is two fluid ounces. I don't know the measurement, we're gonna wing it. But I just need to thin this up a little bit. I don't, I'm not gonna put a full in. I just wanna get as much of that out of there as I can. And that was just like a tablespoon so far. And then I'm going to stir it up. I should have rubber gloves on. I don't. They sell them at the Dollar Tree. All right, I think that's enough. Like, that seems, hi, Alex, liquidy enough. So put that away. Don't need the water anymore. I took the cheesecloth and I just cut into pieces. It doesn't matter, to be fair. But what we are going to do is submerse it. I, don't know, I may need a little more water because it needs to be, um, well, it needs to zhuzh enough to get all of these pieces wet. No big deal. We'll just add a little bit of water. Probably could have used some more Mod Podge, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fret. And then we're just gonna take them one piece at a time and lay them out. But I just want to make sure we're all gooped up, which we are. Okay, moving that. And I'm bringing this back. This is why we have plastic. I was going to do fabric, but I think after watching some other videos of this technique, everybody seems to be using the cheesecloth. So that's what we're going to use. I don't want it too fat um, because it's it won't fit in the cloche. So I'm happy with this one and a quarter inch. If you have a bigger cloche, definitely get a bigger styrofoam balls. I know one lady ordered her stuff on Amazon, but I was like, that's so expensive. If it was going to be out longer than a month, sure, but it's not. So, all right. And I did it double, so we're going to end up with four layers of cheesecloth from the Dollar Tree. And we all know that maybe that's not the most... Ah! 
Let's not do that. There we go. Um, ideal. You know, it's probably not our best quality, I think is what I'm trying to say. But that's okay. It's going to work. Now, I might have bought some glitter as well. But I need to get that out in a second. Because why wouldn't we want this glittered up? And I'm just separating this out, right? There's also fabric stif stiffener, stabilizer stuff you can purchase. But I really wanted to make this like a Dollar Tree. Um, and on this top layer, you just really want to make it so, ooh, get up out of there. Um, you know, you can see what's happening here. We'll overlap and you just kind of mess with it for a minute. I'll show you a front view here in a second. He's got a hole in his head. Let me move this. I poked through the styrofoam ball. So we're just gonna, there fixed it and just remember however you have this is probably how it's gonna dry so I'm trying to pretty it up a little bit all right we got this one this one and I'm doing this the night before because I want it to dry I'm just unfurling there we go and then what I will probably do is pick whichever side looks more like the front of a ghost. And that will be our front. But I will have to trim the cheesecloth. So keep that in mind. And you'll probably want to use cheap scissors. I'm just messing with it here. It'll be a minute. But I'm trying to get it to go as flat as I can. There. Okay, let's put this in the sink and wash our hands real quick. So I'm going to pause you for a second. I'm back so this is what they look like I mean it's just fabric laying over styrofoam balls you know but it is a good idea to turn it all around and make sure your front your back whatever it all looks nice like back here I did I missed the back side of my zhuzhing which is all a-okay. It's going to take a long time for this to dry, so I'm not overly concerned. Okay, now. I touched it again. If you can't find cheesecloth at the Dollar Tree, and you really want to do the Dollar Tree, I would say this white fabric, one layer, just cut in a big enough piece. It's going to be fine. Or I also bought at Joanne... They had white fabric that was um, already glittered, which would also work. So I got just these little packages of glitter, and I'm going to sprinkle it over the fabric. Right? Doesn't that sound fun? So I'm going to put some in my hand. This is going to make a huge mess, just so we're all aware. But I don't care. Oh, yeah, perfect. I got it on his little head. We're going to go down his little body. And then we're going to clean our kitchen up. Because there's going to be glitter literally everywhere. And if you're smart, you would go outside and do this. But I don't want to because time. Night time. Okay. And then when this dries, 
I'll take it outside and knock off any of the extra glitter. Ooh, what's happening down here? Let's get up under here. Oh, there we go. Okay. So right now we're just going to leave it. This will also, if you want, require um, string lights up under it. The one from um, Pottery Barn is lit up. We'll see if I'm gonna light it up. But for now, we're gonna leave it here and we're just going to let it dry overnight. And then I will come back and we will figure out how to cut it around to make it even to uh, put it in the cloche. And hopefully it stands up all on its own. So we'll be back. All right. I just wanted to show you. Yes, Alex, what it's looking like from the side I know baby it's gonna dry it's probably gonna get cut to about here if I had to guess so we just need to let it dry overnight so I do have the ceiling fan on to keep the air moving and hopefully it dries and then we will be good to All go right. here we go we have a few things going on here oh I was looking for something and I think I found it I did okay I had some of these oops, to go with this project. So it took about two days for this cheesecloth with the uh, Mod Podge to dry. This one over here, I don't know, I love it. I may not do anything with that one. We'll leave that one there for now. But this one, we're gonna get it inside of this, um, yeah, you know what it's called. You're all yelling at me. So we have this, I got it from the Dollar Tree. One thing I did is painted the bottom with some rub and buff and you literally just kind of paint it on there. And I don't, I like it that it's not completely through, right? I just think that's a fun vibe. So what I did, and that one's scratched, so we'll use this one. Okay, so what I did is I took this lid and I said, okay, well how far down do I think I want this to go? And then I took my pencil and I drew like a straight line around it. And now we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut this pencil line. I don't know if you can see it in here. And it probably is gonna take a couple times around, I would assume, to get it straight. So it stands up straight. Um, but this just cuts through here. It just takes a minute. So we will speed this up. All right, I stopped it for a second. I had to turn on the hot glue gun. And it's heating up right now. But I cut the bottom off. If you can see, he fits. All you have to do to tighten it up down here is just give it a little squeeze. And that'll keep him on the pedestal. But. I have a couple things I would like to do. I want him to appear as if he is floating. Now, see my hole is too big for that. Um, I'm going to fill that with some glue. And then I pulled out some of these little pumpkins. He may be holding a pumpkin. We'll see. I have a wooden one. But first, I would like to give him some eyes while we're waiting on the glue gun. And this is just a matter of some black paint. I want to find where I think the front is. And I kind of like this to be the front. And then we're just going to paint his eyes in there. And it's going to take a couple coats. But we're going to be real careful. Like that. And do one there. We'll do one here. And I'm just getting the base shape down so they match. And then we'll come back with a second coat. Right? Because that's what we got to do. Yes. Oops. You can also use felt for this. I know a lot of people do that. And as I said before, this is not my unique idea. I saw this on the Pottery Barn website. And then I saw on TikTok some other people doing it. I'm just making a Dollar Tree version. All right, and then we'll do one more. 
can use a Sharpie for this too. But you're just going for ghosty eyes, that's all. Okay, so we got his eyes there. Let's put this paint away. Well, I don't know if I love them yet. Now I'm looking. Guys, I'm fussy. There we go. I'm just fixing. eye over here is a little smaller. Okay. Now we'll let that dry. I did switch over to a smaller pair of scissors as well. Um, because ooh, you want to be able to cut up here when you're cutting through this fabric. And I think that is better right there. Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Can I get some hot glue? Yeah. First, we're going to fill that with some hot glue. Then I took this ball and I, because I used this same size to create the head. So I just wanted it a little smaller. So I'm going to tighten it up a bit. And then we're going to put a little glue on it. And then we're going to come up here and find the center. Okay. So we have that on there. We want to make sure, yep, it'll be floaty. And then I'm going to put this right in here. And I just want it to be a little bit in that glue. Right? And make sure it's straight up and down. And then we're going to hold it here for a second. See, I'm just holding it. Making sure it's up and down, which it is. The glue is dry. So we're gonna put a little more just underneath to firm this up. All right, perfect. Sorry. All right, I just added some more glue to hold this upright. See, it's not quite straight, but it will be. And now we're gonna let this cool and this dry. And then I will come back and show you when we're all in one piece. All right, we are upright. I added some more glue. I added a touch to the bottom and just kind of pushed it so it won't pop through. Now, all I'm gonna do, oops, is kind of squeeze this up in here, gentle like, right? Oh my God, I love it. And he's sitting up there um, a little high. So let us, I wanna hold my finger down here pull that out well we're gonna have to cut that off right there which is fine it's a good thing to know that the glue holds right putting another drop of glue and I'm gonna go down one more time there we go and let that sit and just let it do its thing. Cause I think that's gonna be better. It was up a little high for my liking. And now we're just going to, you can also just do them upside down if you want. There we go. Yeah, there you go. That is the height that I wanted. So it's still floaty, but it's not super high up. And now I'm just going to 
close his little legs together a little more. His little legs. But he's not going to go anywhere, and he seems to be upright. And I think I'm going to stick a little pumpkin just like down here maybe, or do I want him holding it? I think right down here was going to be fine. Just sitting in here. What do we think? Let's do this first. I'll give you a better view. But I'm not sure with or without the pumpkin. Yeah. I mean, I will attach it if I put the pumpkin. Oh, I like the pumpkin. All right, we'll put the pumpkin down here. And I think what we'll do is kind of just glue it right there. There we go. Then we're just going to hold it for a second. And let it do its thing. While that's happening, I wanted to show you. I took one of these black and white plates and then I took one of the candle holders. I just spray painted it black. You can paint the inside with like chalk paint or whatever. And then I just took E6000 and glued it down. It's gonna be my pedestal for my ghost. Um, you can also just do that. I got this, I think last year at the Dollar Tree. I don't know if this works. Oh, it does. I'm not sure, I haven't seen them this year yet, but I got this last year at the Dollar Tree and it's ceramic and that can sit on one as well. All right, I think we're good. <gasps> I love it. That's my Dollar Tree little ghost. I'll show you them finished when I'm done and everything is dry. All right, guys, here's the finished product. Here's our little Pottery Barn Ghost dupe. So we have him, her, and then this one here, I just love how the bottom is coming up and I'm just gonna leave that to do its thing. And then this is just uh, a ghost on a plate, but I will put some stuff around them when I start decorating for fall. But this is my little DIY that I created of a Pottery Barn dupe. Hope you enjoyed.